All right, guys, what's going on here? I got some parcels, and I also got some Battle Styles Pokemon and a Time Spiral pack to open to at the end, and then a card I picked up that is worth more than what was listed at the local game store. Okay. So our first parcel is Legends. All of these cards were underlisted. Let's hope to God there's no Chronicles variants in here. Please, please. And then we have some cheaper vintage cards. I think it's tw like a set of 12 and then a set of 10. So let's go through the cheaper parcel first. Yeah, I'm really happy with the Legends picks up, pick up that I got there. This should just be, I forget the exact amount, I'll figure it out. Did they send a top loader? Oh my gosh. Oh wow. But yeah, um, I have a couple more beta cards coming. Probably won't be making a video if I just get a parcel with like one or two cards in it. So this might be the last video for a little while until I do another decent order. I don't want to like show just a parcel of old vintage cards of like 20 of repeats, you know. Wall of Shadows from Legends. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Love the artwork. Pretty self-explanatory there. Emerald Dragonfly. They give me two top loaders. Wow. That was nice of them. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen emerald dragonflies. I'll cross reference them and make sure that's correct. These will go right into binders. These are worth like fifty cents a piece. They'll be over a dollar eventually. So that's cool. Now the Mac Daddies. Fortified Area, Hunt and Jorgensen. A lot of these are uncommon. Jamon Druid, Jasmine Boreal. I have four more of her coming. Casimir. A lot of these are just uncommon uh, Legends cards. To add to my collection, three Pavels, four <laughs> Princess. Lucrezia, it's a good card. Shimmy and Night Stalker, that was underlisted by like a good amount, two of them. I already own a couple. Picked them up. Tobias Adrian, Torwalki. Blood of the Martyr, I just love that card from the dark. Oh, okay, 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 okay. They sent both orders as one. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so these are some cheaper dark cards. Dance of many, a bit more expensive. Yeah, okay. I see what they did here. They sent two orders as one, I believe. Necropolis card or general. Safe Haven, a little bit more expensive card. Sisters of the Flame, cheaper. Oh, Jat C. I said there's I ordered four more of her. Here they are at the end of the order. They just batched two into one. More Hot Elves Dragon, Tobias Adrian. There we go. A lot of cards there. Now I want to put them back the way I got them. So I can just cross reference the order logs and then just rate them, log them, and then go through and top load a lot of these. Hey! So. A lot of legends. They're not exactly like penny cards. They're they're up to like two to five dollars a piece now. Some even more. Okay. So here we have Erythazun. It's a Mercadian Masks foil, right? Now 
non-foil sort of it's a penny card right but this isn't listed below fourteen dollars online these old vintage uh, foils that are a lot more rare than the foils today like you get foils every other card nowadays but the vintage cards um the foils were much more rare i paid two dollars for it it's basically light played i didn't notice what that is i don't know what that is it's like a little bubble on the card right there not too big of a deal. Light played. That's what I searched. So $2 for, I mean, these older foils, I'll, I'll pick them up if they're low listed like that. So we'll do the Pokemon first, and then we'll get into the, uh, and I haven't opened a pack in a while, in a, in a while. holy crap. Not like super big on Pokemon when it comes to Pokemon I'm into like the old vintage stuff like the base set you know hoping for a full art trainer card there's a foil probably no real you want the V maxes the secret rares you'll know them when you see them pig Knight. That seems like a junk pack. I mean, I don't, even if I did hit anything, I really wouldn't know unless it's one of the, the rare cards I mentioned. I'm having a hard time opening these. So I'll bet yeah, that was $5 down the pooper. No biggie. I'll pick Pokemon packs up once in a blue moon. If I see them out and about, it's not really my vibe, but if you hit the right card, it's pretty cool. Pico. Golbat. Quizcore. All right. It's not looking too promising to me. I mean, it's almost like you have to hit the max cards, the full arts, the secrets to really hit it good. I don't really have too much luck with these. Escape rope, Tower of Waters, Luxio. Eh, it's whatever. Twenty dollars down the drain. Twenty dollars down the drain, right? Now there's some cards over worth over a hundred bucks right now. They'll probably settle down. Hoping I'd at least hit some type of max card, but fan of waves, foil, Bruno, non full art, mustard, non full art. Well, these will go into probably a bulk. I'm not even going to look them up, I'll put them away. The other bulk cards. No luck, the way it goes. 20, 20 bucks here and there. Not too big of a deal. I did it a couple V Maxes, but that was a while ago. And I haven't went out, went out of my way to buy anything modern. I wish I would have got a time spot box for 180, but now they're up above 350, so yeah. That sucks. Hopefully it's just typical rare mythic in the back. Time Spiral Remastered. Okay, we're at the Uncommons. Hive Stone. Oh, wow. Legendary Foil Rare Land? Okay. This is this might be good. Foil rare land. Flagstones of truck hair. Alright. And we got hive stone. And eternal witness is what? Why was that back in there like that? Is that an uncommon? I don't even understand what that is. I don't know. Sapling. 
Okay, this might have made up for it. Let's go look these three up real quick. Let's go see what's going on here. I'm happy with that uh, foil rare land though. I mean, can't complain. Eternal Witness. Oh, wow. Okay. She's worth 437. I don't know why, but I'll take it. Ooh, the foil is almost worth 100 bucks. Hivestone. Rare. Hivestone. Time Spiral Remastered. 50 cents. Ah, it's all right. Let's see if we get any luck on the flagstones of truck hair. Flagstones of truck hair. Okay. $3.50. Let's look at the foil. Foil is listed for. Around four, no, 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 foil, 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 hold on, foil, near mint, wow, nine dollars, so I made my money back on that, I think I got clobbered on the Pokemon, some of them might be worth a few bucks, I don't know, don't really, honestly don't care, I know it's like, like I said, full art, the max cards or bust, basically, in my opinion, so these two will get put into the collection, um, quick rundown again of the Gucci Wucci. You already saw the uh, other ones. A lot of juice here. Love Legends, one of my favorite sets. But vintage, 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 vintage all day, baby. But I got to get back to uh, logging these, top loading a lot of these. And yeah, thanks for watching. Love yous and take it easy.